Hello and welcome back to my channel, welcome to the weekly vlog. I've not said that in the best part of years, so it feels good to be back and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know it's been a while, so I'm gonna just explain myself a little bit for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram and are probably like, where the hell have you been, girl? So, two reasons why I stopped posting. First one was, um, I don't know if it was my last video before this one, but there was a video of me putting up my Christmas tree and in that video my camera, my old vlog camera fell on the floor and completely broke. So I wasn't able to film anything um, and then the other camera that I have is just like, it's quite it's quite a shaky camera, like it's good for filming if I've just got it like, on a tripod, but it was very shaky and the videos that I, were, I was filming were not good and I feel like I would have given you guys a headache like watching them because it was literally like, like really wobbly. Second reason is because I have had quite a lot of life changes recently. As you can see, I'm no longer in my London flat. I've moved out of that. I left there at the beginning of June, which was very bittersweet. I didn't really feel ready to leave, but I'm kind of glad that I have now. Like now that I spent some time back at my family home, I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, no, it was the right choice. So, the reason why we left was because London, well just any city really, is insanely expensive and the cost of living was, well it still is, but like for me it really affected like just everything. Um, and then my landlord put the rent up and it all just got very expensive and I was able to kind of live a life in London but I wasn't able to like save anything for my future. And my next goal with like me and my boyfriend Tommy is to try and save up and buy a house. So we just thought it'd be smart to move back home, save up a little bit and then maybe in the next year or so we will be able to buy a house. But I tell you, it's very weird going from living with your boyfriend for two years to living back with your parents. And then my sister, she's moving back from London in like two weeks. So this is about to be a very full house. I don't really know how my parents feel about it. They've not said anything, so I'm hoping they think it's okay. So yeah, that is a bit of a life update. I hope I've kind of explained that. And yeah, I'm just excited to get back into these videos. It's been so long. I don't really know how interesting they're gonna be because obviously I don't really go up to London and stuff as much anymore, but I'll try and keep them as, I don't know, as entertaining as possible. Um, but also like, sometimes I just like to pop on a video whilst I'm doing my makeup and it's just like a cozy vlog. So I feel like that's, that's the vibe, especially as like, I mean, it's literally pissing it down outside and it is, August the 8th, so autumn has pretty much begun, which I'm really sad about, but yeah, I'm excited to take you along for the weekly vlog. This is such an exciting week, and thank you again for coming back onto my channel and watching this, like, it means the world. I'm just on the way to see one of my friends, and I stopped off at Starbucks to get this drink. Now, this drink is all over TikTok. I swear it's all over my TikTok feed. It is the pink coconut refresher with vanilla sweet cold foam and a scoop of matcha. And oh my gosh, it's so good. Like, I'm just gonna do a live taste test. I've had it before, but just so you can see the reaction. It's so, it's actually so delicious. It looks very, very cute. It's very like, Instagram 2013 aesthetic, but so nice. And then for my friend that I'm seeing, I picked up a little, what is this? A iced decaf latte. But honestly, like, I just, I can't get over it. You have to get this next time you go to Starbucks. It wasn't cheap, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure this ended up costing like over six pound, which made me feel a bit sick. I was like, I cannot believe the price of that. That's nearly the price of a cocktail, but it's just, it's so bloody good. Look who it is. Hi, this is Coda. Oh, big sniff. This is Coda, this is my friend Ellie's dog. We're just making him a puppuccino because like a horrible person I am, I completely forgot to give him one. So he's got a Nero one. Uh, I'm, I'm oh. just gonna do like a little sprinkle of treats on the top. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Do I just literally just hold it? Yeah. I don't, you can quite, tell I don't have a dog. He's quite a messy eater. Okay, ready? Oh, that face. <laughs> the paw. Oh, the paw. Stop. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, he, oh, he's cleaning up after himself. Well done. No, this is actually the cutest thing ever because I see people do this on socials. I've never, I've never done it. He normally closes his eyes, but he's obviously not today. Not today. I can imagine though with a dog, this is literally like the best thing in the world. He's the most spoiled dog in the world. I mean, I've started, normally he gets a puppuccino if we go into the coffee shop with him. But I've started doing it now that if I get a takeaway you coffee, and if he, even though he's not with me, I get him a puppuccino and bring it home. Oh, that's really yeah, cute. Harry's like, this is a bit over the top. You know what, you have to spoil your pets. He deserves it. Exactly. How are we doing? Oh, you've he's given out your treats at the bottom. You've got a bit left. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh. Do you think I should tip it more, like? Yeah, maybe. Should we go kind of, <laughs> Like that? There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. There's still one. Last bits. Oh. 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 If we just shake it, maybe it will go in there. Oh, you've got one more. No, there's one more, look. There you go. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> Can we just talk about the differences? So, Caitlin comes round, even though I gave him a puppuccino, and she gets a full on hug. Come on, Coda. It's true love, isn't it? Mm. Next time. Sorry, but this, this is so cute. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, it's so <laughs> This is actually making me want oh. a dog. Oh, darling, you're so cute. Whoa. <laughs> Just got back home from Ellie's. I know I literally only film dog content, but it was really cute and there's not a lot of dogs on my channel really. Um, but mum's been cooking up a storm. We've got HelloFresh, um, the classic cheeseburger and hot honey wedges. Here it is in person. Looks pretty good to be honest. We are loving HelloFresh. Like I mean, me and Tommy started getting it probably like late spring. And I've just continued it at home. It's not a paid partnership, which it was, because I actually bloody love it. But um, yeah, we've just been getting them every single week and there's always such good recipes, but this is the first burger one we've had in ages, so I'm hoping it's good. Can confirm the burger was so delicious. Would highly recommend if you order from HelloFresh, like that was so good. Like the wedges, they had like this honey, chili, oh my, mm, I would literally eat another whole portion if I could, like so good. Hello, it is um, Thursday today. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday. I know I said see you in the morning, but yesterday ended up being really busy. Oh my gosh, my hair. I really wish I could like get my hair to being properly wavy because I think it is wavy naturally, but I also feel like it's, mm, it's probably not that healthy at the moment, to be fair. Years of bleaching it. Although I do have a very good hairdresser, so. Yeah, maybe one day I will um, try and enhance the natural waves. Anyway, what was I talking about? I keep doing this thing where I'm like talking and I'm getting so distracted. Uh, yesterday, yes, yeah, yesterday just ended up being really busy. I was working on some content with Sky to launch their new Sky Live um, like camera thing that sits on top of the Sky Glass TV. It's really cool but I really underestimated how long it was going to take me. So that was literally my whole entire day yesterday. So today is a day of getting stuff done before the family go away this weekend. We're literally going to Vista tomorrow. I'm so bloody excited. Like, I need to have a think because it's, we're going, well, we're going half as like a birthday trip for me to go up to Oxford, but then Vista's like to find a birthday present. So I haven't really got like my eyes on anything in particular, I would like to get a new pair of heels. Like maybe I wanna pop into the, I think it's Aquazura store, um, Jimmy Choo, YSL, just to like have a little browse. But I don't know, I, I literally, the last time I went to Vista was with my friends and that was just over a year ago. And it was good, but like, it wasn't amazing. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit better tomorrow. Um, maybe because I'm actually going with a purpose, I'm gonna make sure I find something. But anyway, I'm in the bathroom because I'm about to film a hair video. So I'm gonna crack on and do that and I'll be back with you in a minute. It is amazing what 
just a little bit of hair curling can do for your confidence. I literally feel like a changed woman. I love doing my hair like this. I've been doing a lot of bouncy blow dryers recently, but I find that they don't hold as well. And I'm hoping, well, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that the curls will last until the end of the weekend so I don't have to like restyle it whilst I'm away. But I'm just chilling in the garden. I can't remember the last time I did this. Honestly, the weather's been so bad recently. But Dad's done such a cute job. Like every single weekend, he's just out pottering around, planting things. I don't think me and Hannah though, we haven't got his like gardening, what's it called? Is it called green fingers? Like neither of us have got that, so. Yeah, don't really know. Do you guys enjoy gardening? Let me know. I feel like maybe it's one of those things that when you have your own garden, you start to enjoy it more. But the idea of like, I don't know, just like getting these nails in the dirt, just, it's not my thing. And also, I don't think Tommy's gonna be much of a gardener either. So if we ever get a house with a garden, I don't really know what we're gonna do. We just have to call my dad up and be like, dad, can you come sort it? Or I just have to put my big girl pants, put some gloves and, Get, get to it but um yeah i'm just gonna chill here i'm meant to be going to brighton well i might be i've got a meeting potentially happening which would be quite nice i'm hoping the weather's going to be as nice down there as here but if not i haven't got like a lot that i'm gonna do today i kind of speed i sped through i really can't speed today i was speeding through all my tasks at the beginning of the week to make sure i got them all done I feel like I have got them all done. I was gonna do some styling videos, but I might just wait until I'm up in Oxford to do that, like a bit of a change of scenery. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna just gonna sit and chill. I'm trying to figure out where the cats are, because usually one of them comes to see me, but who bloody knows, they're probably off chasing mice somewhere. Thought I would show you my outfit before I head off down to Brighton. I went with a coastal granddaughter theme. I've seen this on TikTok and I feel like that's what perfectly describes this outfit. So the top is, H&M. I don't know if they still sell it, but they definitely have one similar because I linked it on my Instagram earlier. The skirt is Naked Fashion. Bag is Strathbury. How gorgeous is that? And then I don't think it's going to get cold, but just in case it does, I'm going to bring this little cardigan from Jigsaw. But anyway, let me just show you what I've got you resting on because this is actually hilarious. This is my old doll's house from when I was a baby. It's so cute. Let me put the, the lid down. Uh, Oh no, oh, oh my god, okay, so this is nearly as old as me, as you can probably tell, but how cute is this, my dad did all of this when we were younger, like it's even got a little Dior thing on the dressing table, the lounge is constantly in Christmas mode, the dining room, the kitchen, I'm sorry, but look at the little carrots, how cute is that, so I'm sure this will be my tripod in a lot of videos, but yeah, very cute, I probably should like try and tidy this up a bit because it's a bit dusty but yeah right heading off to brighton now i just love brighton so much it's one of the reasons why i want to live here like there's so many unique shops look at all these flowers i'm not even joking you that in london would cost you 60 pounds probably wait these are st stunning how nice are they and these are like literally screaming summer how gorgeous and then it's all the dried ones as well here. Amazing. I'll tell you one thing, Brighton is absolutely rammed today. Like it feels like it's a Friday. And what is it? Oh, I guess it's, it's a Thursday. Thursday's a new Friday. But yeah, I kind of took a little break from the shops. I popped into a couple, but honestly, it's so rammed down there. Like the lanes are amazing. And one day I'd love to have a juniper shop there, but today it's a little bit hectic it's probably the time as well like people are finishing work soon see i'm just wandering around the streets i mean to be honest if i could have a house down one of these streets one day i would be very happy i think they're so cute and people paint them really cute colors it's kind of like notting hill but just a bit more low-key which i feel like is kind of my vibe at the moment how amazing is this store i just saw it as i was walking past it's absolutely gorgeous All this stuff is absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm talking quiet because it's quite busy in here, but I've got jewellery. I just can't stop looking at these. I literally feel like I'm in Disneyland. I was trying to think of what this reminds me of, um, but actually my granny used to have loads of different lights all around her living room like this, and it's giving off very much the same vibe. It's actually quite comforting. That's maybe why I came in here. I just can't stop looking at it, sorry. 
so nice. I'll try and find the name out and I'll let you know. I'll pop it down below or something or if I can find it out when I leave the store and remind, remember to tell you, I'll do that because it's a must visit. Okay, it's called Crown Concept Store. There you go. Just got back home. Oh my gosh, that was such a good meeting. I feel like the spontaneous ones always are. Like, whenever I have a spontaneous plan, whether that be like work related or even just with my friends, that's when I know something is going to be good. I don't know why, it's the way my brain works. I just love like a last minute plan, which is also not good sometimes because then you get stressed. But yeah, very good meeting. Feeling good coming off that. Um, what else am I doing tonight? Oh, I need to pack for Oxford. Oh my goodness. I literally have so many outfits that I want to bring. Like we're literally there for two nights and I know I'm going to end up packing for a week. Like I'm one of those people where I will pack, for example, I will pack as if I'm going to pee myself three times a day. Like the amount of underwear that I bring for a, sh a short trip is ridiculous and i really hope i'm not alone with this because it's really not normal so yeah i'm gonna crack on and do that mum apparently wants me to film her risotto that she's doing so i will film that another little hello fresh number she's very proud of it apparently um, and yeah i will probably catch up with you guys well actually i'll show you the risotto and then we're going to bista tomorrow oh my gosh i'm so excited there's so many things i want to look at there's so many shops my parents are gonna be sick of me because my parents they're not like big like fashiony people my mum is a guest but my dad he's like do we have to go i'm like yes we do so it's gonna be fun i'm gonna enjoy it anyway this is mum's risotto are you pleased with it yeah yeah looks very nice chorizo or chorizo don't know how you say it um peas and what else onion parmesan parmesan lovely hello Good morning. We are en route to Oxford. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hannah really said, I'm going all out to Vista Village. Mum and Dad, we've just actually stopped at the services. So Mum and Dad are off getting food. We've sent them a Starbucks order. Same Starbucks order that I did the other day. I vlogged when I got the, um, the pink drink with the matcha. It's so good. Did you good. vlog when you were ordering it? Yeah, not when I was ordering it, but I vlogged it when I got it. It's so good. It's actually my new obsession. But the time is... What is the time? I think I said good morning, but... I oh know it's still morning. It's half 11. I've been up since half 7, which is... Actually, I guess probably a lot of you watching this are like, that's not that early. But for me, it felt really early because my sleep pattern is so bad at the moment. Like, I'm not falling asleep until like 1, 2 a.m. It is crazy. But we're probably going to be at Vista in, what, what does it say? Is it like 40 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So hopefully it won't be too busy. The roads have been quite... Bad. Yeah, they've been quite bad. Like, both sides of the M25 have been very like, um, what's the word? Congestion. Congestion-y. I'm glad I've got you here because otherwise I'd be sat here just having you know to refilm this because I'm forgetting all my words. It's just standard from the M25 though. Yeah, the M25 is, yeah, it's not the vibe, but we're both being passenger princesses in the back. We've got so much stuff here. Like mum just loads us up with loads of bags basically. And we're just chilling. Hannah's doing her makeup. Yes. Looking cute. Oh my, I have not seen that eyeshadow palette in years. This is actually... What one is it? It's not modern renaissance, is it? No, this Which is... one is it? Soft glam. Soft glam. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember that palette? That was literally all I used when I was at uni. That, the modern renaissance, the modern renaissance. and the Huda Beauty rose gold one, but the original rose gold, the one that was like see-through and you could see all the pans of like the eyeshadow. The best, the absolute best. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when we're in Bista. I'm really hoping it's not gonna be too busy, but going off the roads, it might be. So we're gonna have to really try and find the best deals. Mm -hmm. We've got a slightly different drink to the one before. I don't know whether the people at Starbucks understood. I also don't think my message to mum and dad was that great, but this is the strawberry acai with just regular vanilla sweet cold foam. And it's nice, it's like a strawberries and cream, so I'd recommend this one as well. First stop of the day is Chaconis. I think that's how you say it, it's just Chaconis? I don't know. But we're in the um, like 
conservatory area is so lovely in here. I've never been here before. To start, we've gone for these truffle arancini balls, but they're like charcoal kind of colour. This is what they look like inside. Thank you, Mum. Mm, I love them. Are they good? Mm. They look really, really nice. And for the main event, I have gone for cacio e pepe. Dad has a pepperoni pizza. Hannah's gone for the same as me. And Mum, you've got a margarita? Buffalo. Buffalo mozzarella. Sorry about that. Also, the rosé that we've got is really good. It's the Lady A one. It's lovely. Okay, first stop of the day is Celine. Okay, Celine was a little bit disappointing. Awful. Yeah, it, well, it just was a bit empty in there. So we're hoping <laughs> we'll have a bit more luck. We're approaching Mum's favourite store. Oh, right? Mulberry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beeline to Mulberry. Oh look, she's yeah, she's going. She's going. Yeah, they might do. That's nice. The one you wanted last year. Oh, dangerous. It is. They've got some really cute bags here. I love all the pinks. Yeah, Mum, that's really nice. Yeah, I liked that one last year, didn't I? Yeah. What's the discount like? Well, you might as well get the bigger one. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Might as well. <laughs> While she is. Christmas? Be gone. You might get the additional 10% off, Mum. Might get those bargains. Gosh, so you think Hannah worked it? <laughs> okay, the sisters are going solo oh. into Parada. Well, there's a queue outside. I feel like all of the big brands, they've got quite big queues by them, but I feel like I remember this store being quite good. Okay, I think I've just fallen in love with this bag. It is so stunning. I'm just going to show you it next to me. I mean, obviously it does not go with the outfit, but oh my goodness. I love that so much, like so much. It's the most me bag I've seen here so far, especially like for summer vibes. I'm currently in Manolo Blahnik and I'm going to try these on because I think they're really cute and they're good for like just everyday summer, well not, maybe not everyday, but like slightly dressy summer shoes. And I'm going to Mykonos soon. I feel like flats is the way to go. Okay, sorry for the feet, but what do you think? These are the 40, so they're a little bit, well I'm usually a 39, but actually, I feel like they fit quite nicely. Very cute. And then the other shoes that I've fallen in love with are these lilac ones. I feel like lilac is almost a neutral for me because I, I wear quite a lot of lilac-y accessories. So I'm going to try these on now. Okay, I think we might have a winner with these purple ones. Oh my gosh, no, but these make the legs look so good. Just spotted the most gorgeous blazer in Nueve. This is really lovely, like the tailoring of this. Oh, no, stop, hang on. The back, oh my gosh, it's giving mullet. If, a, if this place was a mullet, I feel like this is what it would be like. That is stunning. Oh, I'm thinking self-portrait might be the best selection of stuff that we've seen. Look at these, oh my God, look at these bags. Oh my goodness, that is everything. They've got a blue one as well there. That is, my family's sick of me at this point. Every single shop, I'm like, let me just go in and have a little little look. Oh my God, yeah. Stop, look at that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I think this is the dress that Amelia, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but the girl that does the Chicken Shop podcast, I have a feeling she wore this to an event because I remember seeing it on her TikTok and being like, this is stunning. And it's my size. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Final stop on the shoe hunts. I'm not fully convinced on the um, Manolos yet, so we're gonna have a little look in Jimmy Choo, see if we can find anything else, and then we might have to call it quits, but hopefully not. Okay, these are a little bit out of the birthday budget, but oh my goodness, these heels are literally everything. Oh my goodness, these are so, so nice. I bet they look unreal on as well. I'm not even going to bother trying them on because then I'm going to know I want them. But yeah, Jimmy Choo's got really good selection. I feel like we should have come in here first. Really, really nice. Lots of nice colours as well, like this kind of 
lime green, although the camera's picking it up a bit weird, but it's nice in person. So update, we are now in actual Oxford City. We have just got into the hotel room. I am currently sorting out all my stuff, making it a complete and utter mess. I did think about doing like a hotel room tour, but there's not really much to tour to be honest. Um, is, that is pretty much it what I showed you. Actually, I'll show you the bathroom. I quite like the fact that it's got this selfie light vibe in here. Um, and then this is what the shower's like. Oh, what products do they have? Niv... What is that? Niva... Nive... I've never heard of that. I'll let you know if it's any good. But yeah, I didn't get anything from Bista in the end. I really did love the Manolos, but my mum and my sister were both like, you probably wouldn't wear them enough. I don't know if I agree. I'm still not there yet. I'm probably going to dream about them for a while, but yeah, they were lovely. And I feel like this is the start, because I've been watching Sex and the City. I feel like I'm fully in like my Carrie Bradshaw era right now. Like I'm loving it. So... I think what I might do is maybe just before Christmas, I'll treat myself to another little trip up to Bicester and actually like maybe buy, buy a pair or there was Jimmy Choo as well. There's so many um, shoe stores. What was the other one? Um, oh, I can't remember, but there was so many other really, really nice ones. So yeah, I'm still on the hunt for a birthday present. By the time this video goes live, oh, actually, it will be before my birthday, so if you can think of anything that's good, let me know, but I don't know, I feel like I'm such a difficult person to buy for, because I'm always, I just don't really know what I want, yeah, I don't know, I'll have a think, it'd be one of those things, I see something in a shop and I'm like, I need that, but yeah, we're going to head off round Oxford, I think, in just a sec, I'm going to change my outfit, because it's getting a little bit more chilly now as we're going into the evening, I don't really know, I don't really pack a lot of very practical things, especially not for walking, so I'll just have to pull, pull things together and try and make it work. Just having a quick wander around the city, because dinner isn't actually for a couple of hours, so I think we're gonna go back, change, and then go from there. I think we're walking up to the castle. This, this it looks like a castle, it's giving castle. So I think that's what's up ahead. It's lovely, look at these really nice buildings. Oh, it's a university. God, you can tell I'm not smart enough to go to Oxford. Wow, I would have, been, I would have loved to have been smart enough for this. Did you just trip? Oh, who lived here? Dorothy L. Sayers. Writing scholar. Nice. Oh, yeah. This, apparently, according to mum and dad, is where Harry Potter, a bit of Harry Potter was filmed. It was either that or it's based on. What did you say, Dad, about Harry Potter? Yeah, what, what did you say, Harry Potter? The stairs the st in Harry Potter were modelled on the staircase in here. Oh, can we go in there? I think you have to buy a ticket. Oh. Look at these gardens, aren't they lovely? Wow, perfectly mowed lawn. Very well connected. Now this is a very cool building. It's all beautiful around here. I almost feel like Feels like you've gone back in time. It's gorgeous. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you my outfit, but I feel like this is as far as we're gonna get, and I also don't know what the lighting's like. So this is the dress, very like business from the front, a party at the back with like the little, don't know what it's called. Oh gosh, although, although the, um, the cut up bit at the back does go a little bit too low and sometimes you can see my pants so that's not good i'm gonna have to try and fix that but yeah i will link it down below oh and shoes i've got these ones on from jigsaw because they're like kind of chunky so hopefully i'll be able to wear them makeup wise just stayed the same i'm just going to push my hair behind my ears to try and like make it look somewhat slick uh Hannah, are you ready got your outfit on no, she's shaking her head. You're not, you're not feeling the outfit. Not feeling it. Okay, that's fine. I'm also gonna bring my new bag with me. Kurt Geiger were really kind and sent this to me, but it's really nice. It's just like a basic black bag, but I needed a bag like this to be honest. It's very cute. I like that it's not too um, intense. Like it's quite minimal. Although I do, is this a peacock that they put on their bags? I'm not sure how I feel about the peacock, but the rest of it's nice. 
Also, quick hack for if you want shorter straps and you don't have one of the clips, I've just tied a hairband around the straps to make them shorter. Let me see if this is actually gonna work. Okay, not bad. One of them is a bit longer than the other, but I think with a bit of tinkering, we're gonna make that work. I just realized I said we were going out for dinner in the last clip and then I didn't film any of dinner. We didn't go anywhere fancy, we just went to ZZ's. It was good. Um, I had the Polo Picante pasta that I've literally been getting for like the last five years. I can't remember the last time I got something different at ZZ's. Anyway, about to do my nighttime skincare. Uh, I thought I'd show you everything that I bought. I mean, it's a lot. It's actually quite embarrassing, but you know, I, it's a home away from home. So this is what I've got. I've got one of these lip masks. This is amazing, by the way. This is really good. I've just started using this, the Naturium, I'm not gonna pronounce, retin, retinaldehyde. That's quite a good product. The Skin Rocks Cle Clean, no, Cream cleanser there we go got there in the end this is amazing i'm nearly finished with this but i love it i love their packaging as well iconic tatcha with the little gold spoon the spoon is literally everything it's so cute what else do i love what else do i love oh this is oh my god the um tatcha silk serum to be honest all of this stuff i love so what i'll do is i will link it down below this is good as well i've just started using this the bioma brightening toner and Biome is really affordable. I didn't realize how affordable of a brand it was, but this wasn't crazy expensive considering like what skincare can be. I was, yeah, very impressed, very pleasantly surprised. And the packaging is it's actually probably out of everything here, the nicest, maybe apart from the Tatcha. I love that. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you guys in the morning. Hannah and I are intending on going on a run, so. Let's see how that goes. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I did bring my gym gear, so fingers crossed. Hello, Hello. good morning. We have had quite a productive day, to be honest, so far. Hannah and I went on a run very Would early. It? Would you believe it? A nice mm -hmm. 3K. It's probably half running, half walking, but I don't know, nothing wrong with two that. Two thirds running, a third walking, oh, not too bad. That. And now we are sheltering from the rain in the covered market, which is really cute I'm gonna show you what it looks like it's really lovely in here it's like the perfect place to be when it's raining like it feels really cozy so, oh my god there's a chocolate shop stop it oh my gosh that's gorgeous inside and then we've got blue bark blood what's that a sports shop it's really cute so I think we're just gonna spend some time in here until the rain stops. We've just come across this place, Puggy Yogi Yogurt Drinks. Mum and Hannah both are a bit dairy intolerant, so I think it's just gonna be me that's gonna get one and Dad doesn't want one. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a man with a passion. That sounds really good. They look cool, this is what they look like. Cute cups. And this is what our Puggy Yogi looks like. This is mine, which is a yogurt drink. And then Hannah has got a fruit tea, but it looks like a smoothie fruit tea. Also, the cups are so nice. They're the kind of cups you want to keep. So nice. I'm really excited to try that. This place is absolutely incredible. How gorgeous are all these flowers? You know I was saying in Brighton the other day how affordable the flowers were. They're even more so here. They are absolutely beautiful but these are so gorgeous sorry 4.95 for those by the way. i know i was just saying that how affordable they are stunning so these are really cute these little fluffy ones oh it's cotton that's why wow this is so cool in here is that peter rabbit i think that is come across a cake shop and i have to show you how cute these are it's a little frog a pig a duckling oh my gosh what have we got here pizza barbie yes absolutely let me know down below if you've watched the barbie film because i thoroughly enjoyed it i want to go watch it again yeah, it's a full-on bakery in there that's so you can watch them make these cakes that is really cool oh and there's these little ones as well oh how lovely amazing so cute the weather today has just fully summed up a british summer like 
<laughs> literally, I'm not joking, about five minutes ago, pissing it down with rain. Now, it looks like it hasn't rained at all. Well, apart from when you look at the floor, but like, hilarious. I just, I just don't understand the weather, but gorgeous buildings here. I can't remember if I showed you these yesterday. Sorry if I have. Hello. I'm really clashing, I've bought the wrong sunglasses. What do you mean you bought the wrong sunglasses? Like the oh, because they've got the... green. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, I um, lent Hannah my shirt today. Really nice little jigsaw number. Oh, we yeah. are currently punting. Well, we're not punting. We're oh, on a punting boat. Oh my going. gosh, okay. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bit of an anti-climax, but here we are on our boat. Oh, yeah, it's really cute. Have a and you have really, really cute. Oh, they're like little greenhouses. Oh, duck. And yeah, Hannah is on the Prosecco serving vibe. Mm. So I low-key risked all, all the family's life because I moved to the end of the boat to get the Instagram shot. It's really embarrassing, but we've got champagne, well Prosecco, we are enjoying ourselves, we're just waiting to come round. We're waiting for the sun to come back off the cloud, but here they are, living their best life. It's very relaxing actually. Although every time the boat moves, my mum literally screams. She's like, ah, we're gonna fall in. But it's literally fine. She's just, <laughs> she's tense. But it's all good. We can all swim, so it'll be fine. Just got off the boat and now we are going to the Grand Cafe for high tea. Looks absolutely beautiful in there. Even just like, look at the cakes. Really, really lovely. I don't like any of the sandwiches. That's a good start. <laughs> it is really cute in here. Really lovely. And apparently, according to the cup, it is the site of the first coffee house in England, which is a nice little bit of history. I have gone for green tea just to try and de bloat because, oh my gosh, that teapot is hot. I feel like yesterday I did not eat very well, so this is my attempt at trying to de-bloat myself. This is what we've got. Hannah and I are having a little afternoon tea moment. Excuse me, this is this is my vlog, stop it. Dad's got pork pie, mum has gone for a vegetable, no. what is it? Beetroot and brie. Beetroot and brie quiche. Anyway. Just doing the final touches for this evening. I literally just re-put a load of makeup on my existing makeup. I feel like if you do a bit of a smoky eye, and you bronze up your face, that is literally all you need. Um, and then I've just popped on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. What is this? I don't actually know what this is called, but it's the lip gloss. I will link it down below. And then in keeping with the pink theme, thought I would wear this Windflowers fragrance. I actually did a TikTok on this saying I didn't like it a few months ago because it didn't hold its scent. But weirdly, I don't know if it's because I left it like in a drawer in my house and it developed. I, I don't know if it needed time to mature, but every time I wear it now, I can smell it on myself all night and I get compliments on it. So I've decided to bring it here. The other fragrance I bought is Matcha 36, no 26, which is gorgeous. I actually have a body cream of this as well, but I think it's on Hannah's bedside table. So putting the body cream on with this, oh my God, so bloody good. So yeah, this is the finished look. Again, can't really show you the whole outfit. Um, oh wait, actually, no, we do have a full-size mirror. Let me just... The lighting is terrible, but this is the looks from Naked Fashion. It's like a little low-waisted skirt and corset top number. We're heading off to the Ivy tonight. I feel like this is Ivy appropriate for a Saturday. And I'm gonna wear it with some like little nudie accessories. So yeah. I'm excited. At the Ivy, thought I'd show you what we've got. So this is a strawberry and mint martini, I believe. Chicken yakitori, because they, they started selling the Ivy Asia food, like the regular Ivies, just like a selection of them. And then we've got, oh my gosh, my favorite things ever. The truffle arancini. I cannot get enough of truffle arancini. It's my favorite thing in the world. For mains, I have gone for my classic 
Ivy dish. This is literally all I ever get. It's a chicken milanese, milanese with truffle cream sauce. Mum has gone for an Ivy Asia dish. It's a black cod, black and cod. Black cod and banana leaf. And banana leaf. And then Dad and Hannah have gone sainties as me. Person. Here you are, here. here. <laughs> you really are. You don't understand how horrible you are at times. I can't have that in the video. God. Here you are, isn't she? Oh, God. Like, oh, it's, you shouldn't do anyone a favour. <laughs> you would have been the bum bum. Can I start my vlog? Hello everyone, it is Sunday and we have just parked up at the Diddley Squats Farm Shop Car Park which is, if you don't know, Jeremy Clarkson who used to be on Top Gear and he now does the Grand Tour, he's opened a farm or farm shop, Dad is a big fan, there's a TV programme for it so we are here, it's, it's what, like half an hour from our hotel, so we're doing that. Then we're going to Dalesford and then we're going to Soho Farmhouse. So we've got a booked and busy day. But when I tell you this car park, I'll show you in a sec, but it's so busy. Like there are hundreds and hundreds of people here. Do you see what I mean? There are lots and lots of cars here. Lots of Jeremy Clark fans. Clark? Clarkson. I think it's just this little um, thing hit the queue is literally insane. So. I think we're, Hannah wants to stand on this mound over there, so that's what we're doing. Tell you what, it's really cute though to see my dad so happy. But yeah, this is, this is literally it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> enjoy yourself. No, I just, I just thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Like, yeah. Research before, so no. I just kind of expected. I mean, it is literally what it is. It's a farm shop, so fair enough. We're thinking now because it was so down. busy there loading. that um, just we're just going to go straight to Soho down. because, yeah, it's just very, very busy. And if this is what this is like, I can imagine Dalesford's going to be rammed. Obviously, what a twat. What? Oh my god. Oh, it was a motorbike. It's no, the life out of me. But, um,. What are we doing? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to film much at Soho because you're technically not able to do it, like you're not meant to do it, but I'll try and get a few little sneaky shots. We are here and it is absolutely oh rammed. I feel like everyone has gone out. Yeah, the cars are just insane Not here. Just G-Wagons galore, Range Rovers galore. <laughs> it's crazy. Just thought I'd show you through the bushes what it looks like. So you've got all sun loungers along here and then this blue building you've got the pool and the Japanese restaurant. And then you can cycle around as well. So I think that's what we're gonna do later and we'll explore. But this is the only time I've come and the weather's been nice. So this is a result. We've come into the Japanese restaurant. I've switched over to my phone, but I'm hoping it's not too much of a difference. But we can teach you, Hannah. No, um, I'm no to not going to do, do it. Anyway, this is what we got. So we got some really nice chicken, some bao buns, and some egg fried rice. There's a, I think, a sushi coming as well, which is very exciting. And here is the sushi. We've just popped into the Soho Home store, which is, I think, more just like a show home. But it's lovely. They've got a skincare brand. They own Cow Shed. This chair is absolutely stunning. So my vibe. Imagine that with my um, green sofas that are in London. The bed, everything is just so like curated and it's just so aesthetic. Like it's amazing. We're gonna grab ourselves a bike, work off that food. I love the bikes here, they're so cute. They're very like wholesome little basket bikes. But this is the place that we ate at, it's called Penyan. Oh my God, these wasps. Oh yeah, the wasps Next are wasping level. today. There's so many. I really did not wear the right outfit for riding a bike, but I'm just hoping it will be okay. We're just exploring all of the little cabin places you can stay. It's so cute. They really, really, they look really cozy. Oh, amazing. Just cycling with mum. Dad and Hannah are way ahead. But we're just having a look at these cabins here because I think they're the ones we would stay in. What just, what just hit my face? Was that a, was that a bug? Um, these are the ones we would stay in, I think, if we were to come here. I'm going to try and persuade mum and dad to let us come here one day. They're gorgeous. Look at them. So cute. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that place? 
imagine staying there. Oh, I'd love it. Oh my gosh, look at these goats. It's giving regal. There's one here as well. What a life they have. I'm jealous. Just as I'm waiting for mum and dad to do whatever they need to do in the service station, I thought I would end the vlog here because I have a feeling this is going to be ridiculously long, especially as my first vlog back. I thought I would ease into it, but no, I've, I feel like I've spoken a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be continuing to vlog every single week. I'm holding myself to that. So that is the plan, at least until the end of the year. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Vlogmas. I did think about it, but... I don't know if I can, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't want to make any promises yet. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming here, watching the video, especially at this point, like watching the whole entire video up until now. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.